nothing less than adoring an artist's painting. But you know what? Even sending a spacecraft to study this beast is an art in itself. This planet is about 628 million kilometers away from us, and it takes care of Earth better than us. For billions of years, Jupiter has deflected the paths of hazardous asteroids that could have hit our planet. Being the largest planet, Jupiter holds the secrets of the early solar system. Unfortunately, sending a spacecraft to study this planet is not easy. The gas giant's distance and deadly radiation make it extremely challenging for a space probe to orbit or fly by Jupiter. To date, nine spacecraft have said hello to Jupiter, out of which most were flyby missions. But wait, this video isn't about any of these missions. Instead, it's about one of the most complicated space missions NASA exclusively launched to study this planet. I am talking about the Juno spacecraft, a $1.5 billion mission that completed a decade in space in 2021. And today, I'll take you on a voyage of Juno's incredible journey to Jupiter. So fasten up your seatbelts. On a hot summer day of 5th August 2011 in Cape Canaveral, Florida, NASA's Juno probe sat nestled in an Atlas rocket to begin its five years long journey towards Jupiter. Juno was specially designed to study the origin and evolution of gas giants. At the same time, it was made sturdy enough to withstand the harsh and unforgiving environment that the planet was going to offer. And with this, the journey to the fifth planet of our solar system began. But the trip to Jupiter wasn't straightforward. Instead, Juno followed a complicated trajectory. So to begin with, Juno was placed on a path that took it beyond the orbit of Mars. Next, it performed deep space maneuvers that brought the spacecraft back to Earth for a much needed gravity assist. Finally, the probe moved past Earth in October 2013, and this flyby boosted its speed by more than 3.9 kilometers per second, eventually setting it on a course to Jupiter, now traveling at 93,000 miles per hour. Juno continued its long journey of over two years towards Jupiter. During these two years, it was mainly placed in a safe mode, which shut down all the non-essential systems. Finally, in January 2016, Juno began its ultimate approach to Jupiter. During this period, it captured a spectacular time-lapse video of Jupiter and its four Galilean moons. The video consisted of a sequence of images taken five days before the spacecraft arrived at Jupiter, precisely at 4.8 million kilometers away from the gas giant. Finally, in July 2016, after a long journey of five years, Juno arrived at Jupiter. At this point, Juno was the fastest ever craft in human history. So to slow down, Juno performed several maneuvers that eventually put it into an elliptical orbit around Jupiter. The trajectory was designed to keep the probe at a safe distance from Jupiter's harmful radiations and close enough to make precise observations. In August 2016, Juno completed its first orbit around Jupiter. It captured some of the most mesmerizing pictures of the planet, including an enhanced image revealing bluish cloud structures not found anywhere else in the solar system. Juno also captured the beautiful aurora at the gas giant's south poles in infrared light, normally invisible to human eyes. Jupiter has the strongest auroras in the entire solar system, and scientists were never able to understand what caused these unusual auroras. However, Juno provided some answers for the same. The spacecraft hinted that the Jovian auroras are probably the result of some processes occurring deep inside the gas giant instead of being caused by the sun's energy as on Earth. Because of its uniquely designed orbit, Juno can come extremely close to the planet's atmosphere, sometimes traveling just 3,100 miles above the cloud tops. This allows Juno to collect the best possible data about Jupiter's hypnotizing clouds. The images captured by the craft revealed a remarkable, colorful, and complex tapestry of swelling clouds 
that violently roam all around the planet, and with no solid surface, the gigantic clouds shown in the images extend down to many miles and are mainly comprised of ammonium salts. Juno also pictured Jupiter's North Pole in a way that has never been seen before. The infrared image revealed a sizable chaotic storm on the North Pole surrounded by a ring of eight slightly smaller cyclones. Each of these storms is almost big enough to engulf the whole of North America. While exploring Jupiter, how can one forget the Great Red Spot? The Great Red Spot is a majestic anti-cyclone located 22 degrees south of Jupiter's equator and is one of the most iconic storms in the solar system. In July 2017, Juno captured high-resolution images of the Great Red Spot. A picture of five photos revealed the grand storm in a detail that has never been seen earlier. Juno plumbed the Great Red Spot's depth and showed that its roots are 200 miles, nearly 50 to 100 times deep as Earth's oceans. The spacecraft has discovered several new storms raging across the gas giant. Along with this, the space probe directly detected Jupiter's internal magnetic field. It was indeed a landmark finding, as it was the first time that an internal magnetic field had ever been detected on any planet beyond Earth. Initially, Juno was planned to operate till 2018, but looking at its capabilities, NASA has extended the mission till September 2025. Thus, Juno is expected to vet some previous theories of the planet's formation in the coming years. Moreover, the observations are also likely to reveal the planet's deeper structure, all the way to Jupiter's core. This means that this spacecraft will feed us with its enthralling observations.